We know it can be tough to get started with research, especially if you're a postgraduate. Does any of these sound familiar? Research Clinic is here to help. A platform where you can chat with our consultants on research best practices and get answers to any questions you might have about knowledge discovering, scientific authoring, and research outreaching. We know that social issues are interdisciplinary, and that means they need a new science of cross-disciplinary collaboration. Every researcher has to go beyond interdisciplinary work to collaborate as multidisciplinary teams, and we can help you to do that. Scan this QR code to join the community and seek any help or advice throughout your research journey. Chat with us and we will get back within 24 hours. How did EBSCO become the world's largest information services provider? We empower researchers and organizations by providing them with the software tools necessary to manage and optimize their resources. We are focused on delivering content that further enables equitable access. Our mission is to transform lives by providing relevant and reliable information when, where, and how people need it. To achieve this mission, our teams create search technologies and innovative solutions to help people readily access and use all their institution's resources. Our technologists use leading edge tools to create pioneering solutions, allowing users to connect to the information they need at any time and any place. EBSCO also helps institutions improve their workflows, provide meaningful analytics, support and safeguard their publications, simplify their backend workings, uphold rigorous standards for accessible content, and provide quality access to information. We do this by offering industry-leading tools and resources that enable customers to purchase and manage their content and optimize their software services. At our core, EBSCO is dedicated to using information to improve outcomes through researching, learning, teaching, providing patient care, and many other services. Through our vision, action, and innovation. We are dedicated to supporting our customers' continued success. What does the future hold for our health? Of course, we know what we want. Longer lives, more clinicians, high quality care. But the future cannot be known. And the unknown can be frightening. But fear 
Fear can be overcome with knowledge. At Elsevier, we believe that knowledge has the power to shine a light into the darkness. The power to improve patient outcomes through evidence, insights, and innovation. The power to help clinicians benefit from all the research data in the world when they don't have all the time in the world. The power to build an inclusive world where every patient is treated equally and fairly. The power to take on the infodemic with trusted information and help millions of students become practice-ready professionals. The power to support clinicians to identify the most optimal treatment for one patient or entire populations. Yes, knowledge has the power to beat fear. That's why we see a bright future for health. One where we can use all the knowledge in the world for the benefit of every patient. to Festival 2020.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today in this ceremony. A warm welcome to Tan Sri Abu Bakar, Professor Abdul Aziz Baba, Professor Vishna Devi Nadaraja, Professor Nilaj Kumar Mitra, and all guests. We would like to begin this session with a closing remark by our IMU Learning Resources Director, Prof. Nilaj Kumar Mitra. It is with great pleasure to invite Prof. Nilesh to deliver his closing remarks. Uh, Tansri Abubakar Sulaiman, Prof. Abdul Aziz Baba, Prof. Vishna Devi Nadaraja, and head of the departments, and all the uh, participants who have been coming from different parts of Malaysia to join this innovacy competition. Welcome uh, all of you to the closing ceremony of this 10th Learning Resources uh, Festival. We have uh, gone a, a long, long course from 2013. And uh, now uh, it is our great pleasure to invite you all and to this uh, 10th anniversary. And I hope that whether it is online or whether it is physically here, you have enjoyed our uh, program. And it, it has been great pleasure to thank also our uh, beloved and very hardworking chairperson, uh, Juan Nuras Liza and her team. And um, if we start from the very beginning, uh, we started with a keynote talk from uh, Michael Morris. If you remember, Michael Morris is actually from uh, one of the important online platform from US, which is called Coursero. It has been running a long time there with 20 million students. They are actually catering. So we have a great privilege to welcome uh, Michael Morris for uh, initiating our key talk. Not only that, we have got four uh, plenary speakers from different universities across Malaysia. And we have been very fortunate that uh, they came not only as speakers, but also during the initial part, uh, they went through our uh, all the posters and uh, videos given by our innovacy competitors. Um, and we have been blessed that all these people uh, without any uh, remuneration, they have been helping IMU in running this uh, important platform for many, many years. And uh, not only that, we had six workshops and three forum. And, and there is a great, great leap this year, particularly uh, with our all hardworking e-learning leads as uh, chairperson of TEL subcommittee, I'm very proud that um, this 2020 was very hard for all of us, but this 2021, we boosted our activities and IMU with our guidance from Prof. Aruhi Meng and Prof. Vishnu Devi Nadaraja, we have been able to develop our some um, tools, VR and AR tools. So 
we had privileged by this uh, committee has invited us, our team, to actually showcase our virtual reality and uh, AR uh, tools which have developed uh, on 15th. That is a great event also that uh, in-house development of VR and AR and we could showcase in this important platform. Uh, I also um, give a great thanks to all the university competition participants who have come across uh, all different parts of Malaysia. Uh, there are seven standard students uh, coming from Putraja as well as from matriculate colleges in Penang. And similarly from um, B farm lecturers coming from USM. So you can see a very big blend of different parts of the educational institution across Malaysia coming to this. And um, we hope that in coming years, we can encompass all these different segments of Malaysian educational scenario in this important platform. And the great important thing is that we actually enjoy their innovativeness. Can you just imagine that a seventh grade students uh, producing an app so that preschooler or uh, grade one students can learn English better? I mean, we are fortunate to have among us this type of innovators. Uh, I would like to thank also the speakers, facilitators, and particularly honorable judges. I mean, without any um, remuneration, we got people from Malaysian Board of Technologists, as well as from Directorate from Ministry of Education, as well as there are um, faculty from IMU, as well as outside IMU. Uh, this important event cannot be done without sponsorship. So thanks to Kitang, the EdConnect, Natasha from Elsevier, Kelly Access Dunia, Liana McGraw-Hill, uh, Puan Nora Sikin for EBSCO host for generous sponsorship. Not only that, one of the important thing I want to mention is that during IMAC and during this festival, one of the important thing happens in IMU is that all these days, this, uh, our sponsors, they are always present there and interacted our, with our students. And the great thing is that our students have ability to interact all these sponsors so that they can know what is happening in different segments of uh, the people who actually generate these e-resources. Uh, you can see this interactive panel, and this is actually from the sponsorship from Hamin. Uh, let us now think about the committee uh, I already mentioned one Anurhas Liza, the innovative chairperson, uh, Noor Halim, uh, our busy floor manager. Uh, there is an efficient digital management team uh, working over there, Aswandi, Nurman, Nazrul, Jahrul, and Arnold. Uh, I think you have uh, probably seen our online platform. It is a very beautiful platform. And when you go to this online platform, you can see that you have no boredom. They continuously make them make you busy. And particularly for that, I thank the team behind, Safik, Firdos, Rizal, and Rashidi. Innovacy competition is a great deal of thing. I mean, we have got two or three time screening. Some are online, some are physical. And uh, a great deal of thanks goes to Azrin, uh, Fariza, and Aida. Uh, decoration and all the gimmicks you have seen in the initiation ceremony, uh, Lazri, Fajil, Hajar, Saira, Robaya, and teams. And uh, particularly Rajman, who has been very active as sponsorship manager, and Javiba for refreshment. And no doubt, all this would not happen. That is the main person, two persons who are leading this and giving the advice uh, is Mr. Hasnan and uh, Sikh Juhanaria. So uh, I, I would tell this uh, manage, the committee that keep up this good work. Uh, thank you again and congratulations again. And let us see you all in the next year. Thank you. Thank you, Prof Nilesh, for your delightful closing remarks. Now is the time that we have been waiting for. The results for all categories are already with us. We will begin with Library Knowledge Challenge 2022, which are quizzes conducted online by publishers Oxford, Ovid, McGraw Hill, Kimi, Clinical Key and Clinical Key for Nursing, Wiley, 
and EBSCO. These quizzes are held from 1st October until 15 November with the objective to increase users' knowledge and efficiency in using library subscribed databases while answering the questions. Now, we would like to invite Ms. Zuhanaria, IMU Chief Librarian, to present the award to the winners. We will start with Oxford Library Knowledge Challenge. Winners for this database, third place goes to Yi Chi Chang with Epson. Second place goes to Jillian with Epson. And the first place for Oxford Library Knowledge Challenge 2022 goes to Ning Jia Hui. Next, the winners for Ovid Library Knowledge Challenge 2022, third place goes to Yong King Yong with absent. Second place goes to Melanie Zi Yi Lim. And the first place for Ovid Library Knowledge Challenge 2022 goes to Min Hin Wong with absence. Next, the winner for McGraw Hill Library Knowledge Challenge 2022. Third place goes to Jin Hao Ma. With absent. Second place goes to Wei Tian Wong. And the first place for McGraw Hill Library Knowledge Challenge 2022 goes to. With absent. Next, the winners for Timmy Library Knowledge Challenge 2022. Third place goes to Alisa Fiona. Second place goes to Wong Jin Hin with absence. And the first place for Timmy Library Knowledge Challenge 2022 goes to <laughs> with absence. Next, the winner for Clinical Key and Clinical Key for Nursing Library Knowledge Challenge 2022. The, the third place goes to Chua Tech Kuang. Second place goes to Ngan Wan Yi with absent. And the first place for clinical key and clinical key for nursing. Library Knowledge Challenge 2022 goes to <laughs> Next. 
Next, the winners for Wiley Library Knowledge Challenge 2022. Third place goes to Taiwani with absence. Second place goes to Dr. Liu Yun Hon with absence. And the first place for Wiley Library Knowledge Challenge 2022 goes to. <laughs> One. Lastly, for EBSCO quiz, we have three consolation prizes. The winners of the consolation prizes are Muhammad Afif, Nor Sharafina, and Malini Krishna. They are not available to accept the prizes today. Now, second place goes to Dr. Sunil. And the first place goes to Wong Yi Ker. Heartiest congratulations to all winners. Well done, everybody. Now is the announcement of winners of Complete Anatomy Quiz. This quiz is held in collaboration between... Thank you, Kazu, for giving out the prize. Now is the announcement of winners of Complete Anatomy Quiz. This quiz is held in collaboration between the Medical Museum, Elsevier, and EdConnect. The objective of the quiz is to create awareness, encourage students' self learning, and driving usage of complete anatomy. For this competition, I would like to invite Dr. Hital Jai Prakash the IMU Medical Museum Coordinator to present the prizes to the winners. Winners for Complete Anatomy Quiz. For this competition, we have two consolation prizes. The consolation prizes go to, first, Bernice Wong. Miss Bernice Wong is represented by her colleague, Mr. Ong Wei Wen. The second consolation prize goes to Mr. Matthew Joy Lee Zihao. Now, the winners for complete anatomy quiz, third place goes to Chan Hui Ming. With absence. Second place goes to Ong Wei Wen. And the first place for complete anatomy quiz goes to Yoga Deepika. Miss Yoga Deepika is not able to join us today, so Mr. Aaron Simpson will receive the prize on her behalf. Thank you, Dr. Hidal, for presenting the prize. Heartiest congratulations to all winners. Well done, everybody. Now, it's the announcement of the e-learning license award to the staff members who have completed the courses. The e-learning license was first introduced to the IMU community in 2013. This initiative compres comprises of three levels known as e-learning license basic, class, and pro. It covers topics on instructional design, learning management systems, video editing, and development and web tools. Learners 
need to complete the basic level before they can move to the next level. And each level will be awarded an e-certificate and an e-badge. The goal for this license is to make the learners be able to use and create various online learning resources and activities to engage and interact with other learners. This year, there are two categories which are basic and plus. For this session, we would like to invite Mr. Hasnain, Senior Manager, IMU e-learning department to present the badges to the recipient. Basic license category, the recipients are Ms. Zuhanaria Binti Muhammad Nordin. <laughs> Puan Nor Shazwani Binti Munajat. Mr. Muhammad Shafiq Muhammad Saleh. Puan Hajar Afiqah Binti Saharani. Dr. Vasudeva. Miss Nor Aisha Bintil Abdul Aziz. Miss Siti Haja Binti Ali. Dr. Jaya K. Pubalan. Miss Nur Atikah Binti Abdullah. Dr. Paratana, Dr. Ceci Wong, Mr. Norhalim binti Muhammad No, bin Muhammad No, sorry, <laughs> Miss Robaya binti Atan. And the last recipient is Dr. Chong Pei Ni. Now, the plus licenses category, the recipients are Ms. Siti Hajar Binti Ali. Mr. Razman Shah bin Muhammad Razali. Puan Nurul Hafizah binti Jumat. Puan Hajar Afiqah binti Saharani.
হুয়ান নর শাজওয়ানি বিনতি মুনাজায় ডক্টর জায়াহ কে পুবালান ডক্টর হিতল জয় প্রকাশ মিস্টার মোহাম্মদ শফিক মোহাম্মদ সালে দ্য লাস্ট রিসিপিয়েন্স ইস মিস আজারিয়া বিনতি with accents thank you mr hasnain for presenting the e learning licenses badges to the recipients heartiest congratulations to the recipients and well done everybody next is the announcement of the winners of best micro learning content created by faculty i would like to invite prof nilesh kumar mitra director of imu learning resources to present the award to the winners Winners for best micro learning content created by faculty. Third place goes to Associate Professor Chaidramani. Second place goes to Dr. Lee Ching Lee. And first place for best micro learning content created by faculty goes to Azaria A. Rahman with Epson. Thank you, Prof. Nilesh, for presenting the awards. Hatiyas, congratulations to the winners. Well done. Next is the announcement of the winners for the Innovacy Competition 2022. Before we announce the winners, just to say a little bit about the competition. The objective of this competition is to inspire learners and educators to use their imaginations innovations and insight by leveraging technologies to enhance teaching and learning activities. For this award, we would like to invite our esteemed Professor Vishnu Devi Nadaraja, Provost Chancellor, Institutional Development and International to present the awards to the top 20 competitors. The top 20 competitors are Project Name Jari Jawi by Nurul Izati and team from SMK Iskandar Shah. Second, project name SISFORM by Mulyani Binti Muhammad Effendi and teams from College Matriculasi Johor. Number three, project name Applying high flex the modality with lightboard innovation in teaching and learning 
by Norzila binti Muhammad Jami and team from College Matriculasi Pera. Number four, project name, interactive blended learning during medical museum sessions, application in the central nervous system, CNS module by Lim Lei Cheng and team from International Medical University. Project name, first Edu Talk series, the integration of AMA learning experience by Siok Yi Chan and teams from University of Science Malaysia. Six project name, the use of virtual online debate in the classroom to teach ethics by Wong Lai Chun and team from International Medical University. Number seven, project name, Model Co in Art by Puni Pavali and teams from University Pendidikan Sultan Idris. Number eight, project name E-Bowl by Hasni Binti Abdul Ghani and teams from College Matriculasi Kedah. Number nine, project name Pikapu by Muhammad Irfan Mustaqim bin Arifin and teams from SK Methodist Kampar Pera. Number 10, project name The Kem Kembaram Mad Adventure Games by Rafiq Sharman bin Hamid and teams from Rexbit Smart Solutions. Number 11, project name Virtual Medical Nutrition Therapy clinic by Chen Xiong Ting and team from International Medical University. Number 12, project name, gamification of online formative assessment in enhancing learning experience of clinical students by Mala Nashita and teams from International Medical University. Thirteen, project name Building Trust Between Learners and Supervisors, a web app supported workplace learning and assessment by Siva Kumar Arunachalam and teams from International Medical University. Fourteen project name then topic by Kan Chang Yu and teams. Next project name life worksheet worksheets hyperbolic brain puzzle by Nurul Aini binti Jaffa and teams from University Technology Malaysia.
Next, project name. I am you digital lookbook look book of clinical sciences school of medicine by Chandramani and teams from International Medical University. Next is project name transforming learning activity into an augmented reality experience a class game with zap work by Chua Yao Kuang from International Medical University. Next, project name Kok Diang, fun run mobile game by Juniza Binti Zamri and teams from Polytechnic Tuan Ku Syed Sirajuddin. Next, project name Kutapato by Nur Zaliana Zawawi and teams from University Science Malaysia. The last finalist is project name Let's Spell It Right 2.0 in AR Experience by Muhammad Shaharuddin bin Setapa and teams from SK Putrajaya Precinct 11. Thank you, Provisna, for presenting the award. Herkes, congratulations to all winners. From the top 20 finalists, we have a winner for the best poster category. Now, we would like to invite Prof. Nilesh Kumar to present the award. The best poster for Innovasi competition ILRF goes to Applying high flex modality with light board innovation in teaching and learning by College Meticulasi Pera. Thank you, Prof. Nilesh, for presenting the award. Hatias, congratulations to the winner. Now, is the announcement of winners for the Innovasi competition ILRF 2022. For this award, we would like to invite our distinguished Professor Abdul Aziz Baba to present the award. Third place goes to a project called Jari Jawi by SMK Iskandar Shah. Second place goes to a project called Transforming Learning Activity into an Augmented Reality Experience, a class game with Zapworks by Chua Hiao Kuang from Center of Free University Studies, IMU. And the first place goes to a project called this form by College Matriculasi Johor. Thank you, Prof. Aziz, for presenting the award. Hertius, congratulations to the winners, and well done, everybody. We have now come to the much awaited session is the announcement of the Tansri Abu Bakar Trophy. It is my pleasure to invite Tansri Abu Bakar Sulaiman, our Honorable Emeritus President, IMU Health, to announce the winner of the auspicious Tansri Abu Bakar. The winner of the much 
coveted Tan Sri Abu Bakar trophy is Pool of Dentistry. Thank you, Tan Sri, for presenting the award. A big congratulations to the School of Dentistry for their efforts and hard work. Last but not least is the sponsor appreciations. For this session, we would like to invite the chairperson of ILRF 22, Puan Nor Hasliza, to present small tokens of appreciations to the vendors who have generously supported this event. I would like to call upon a representative from Access Dunia. Now I would like to call upon a Representative from McGraw-Hill. Now I would like to call upon a representative from Elsevier. Now, I would like to call upon a representative from ED Connect. Now, I would like to call upon representative from EBSCO. And the last one, I would like to call upon representative from Hayamim Ava. Okay, thank you, Panur Hasniza. Now, we would like to take a group photo. May we invite Tan Sri Abu Bakar, Prof. Aziz, Prof. Vishna, Prof. Nilaj, all HOD and all the winners to come up to the stage. For participants' information, the winners' lists are available in our ILRF 2022 website. Feel free to visit the ILRF 2022 website to visit to view the winners of list of medal receivers. For CPD points collection, please scan the MMA QR code as displayed on the screen. This CPD point is only eligible for MMA members. Before we end, I would like to thank all of you who are here today. We greatly appreciate your attendance at this event and celebrating with us on our 10th anniversary. Once again, we apologize for a few setbacks throughout this event. We hope that you have all enjoyed and benefited from all the sessions. A heartfelt thank you for all your support and time that you have spent with us in the last four days. We look forward to seeing all of you again in our future ILRF event. Thank you.